It's the FM 97 Morning Rush with Liz and Hurley, and Jonathan Groff joins us. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you, man? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for taking time waking up with us this morning. Appreciate it, man. My pleasure. I love FM 97. That's like my go-to radio station when I go home. So, I mean, obviously the, the show finished the season last week, but, I mean, it's just got to be getting so busy for you right now, personally. Well, I mean, I'm like a recurring role on the show, so, like... That, like it's really busy for the people that are like the kids that are there that are the regulars because mm-hmm. they have to they're on like a, they're on the tour now so it's less busy for me than it is for them because they're sort of like going nonstop and, and I'm just looking for the next job. You've been close to the cast for a while now. Who would you really think, as a theater person, as someone who's spent a career doing this, who impresses you the most that you just come away and go that? Oh, person- he's gonna pick his best friend. Who's it gonna be? Leah Michelle. Ah. <laughs> Come on, I know the answer to that one. All right, fine. You can't answer Leah. Who besides Leah would you say that person? Man, they've got some chops. You've got to see them live. Amber, um, who plays Mercedes on the show, because her voice is just insane. She's amazing. Okay, now I have to ask you a Glee question. Okay. Finn versus Jesse St. James. Who's on the ground? <laughs> Come on. When you guys started fighting, I was like, shut up. I know, and we were just, it was like heavy pushing, right? There was no like real... Like, it was a little girl fight, I, I gotta be honest. It was a little girlish. Yeah, it was a little girly. I really have no idea. I mean, of course, I play Jesse St. James, so I think Jesse St. James would win. But uh, I don't know, fun is on the football team, so I feel like you could kind of take me. I, I, to be honest, I was on the football team, too, and trust me, it doesn't always work that way. No, well. I could take him down. You know, we were talking about, you got kind of the, you know, you're in between stuff right now, but you've done... Everything, it seems like. You've done movies, TV, film, stage. What What do you want to do next? What would you just love to, to put your stamp on? I've done a lot of theater, but I've not done a lot of film, so I'm looking to do more of that just to sort of, like, mix it up and try new things. And, like, honestly, whatever really excites me creatively is what I would be up for. Is there any one person that, like, it's your dream to work with? I really, I, you know, I really want to work with this director, Sam Mendez. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I saw um, Revolutionary Road six times. I love that movie. I think he would be really great to to work with. How funny is it now? Like, all of a sudden, the chorus and the band geeks are the coolest kids in school now. Is And it's because of shows like Glee and because of Spring Awakening and even back to, like, High School Musical that there's this whole generation now that's grown up where it's cool to be in theater again. Yeah, it's kind of amazing. I mean, it's, yeah, it never, to be honest, like, I went to Conestoga Valley and mm-hmm. maybe I was, like, a geek and I just didn't realize it. <laughs> <laughs> but I never, I mean, at, at least in my high school, like, no one ever made me feel like an outsider, which maybe was because of the way things were at TV or maybe because I was, like, oblivious to it. But I feel, I felt really lucky, like, not feeling like I was like not feeling like I was like a loser in like, high school. Maybe I wasn't. I just didn't know it. But it is it is like incredible that you know a show like Glee has has come out and and sort of made it cool completely to like sing and dance and and be in the in the Glee club or be in the in the show choir or be in the chorus or you know do theater. It's pretty pretty awesome. Now, as you said, you are from Conestoga Valley. Is there one thing about Lancaster like you just miss? The one thing that kind of brings you back to home? It would probably be my mom's pumpkin pie that she makes. And when you throw in the pumpkin whoopie pies, it's like a whole new level. Oh, totally. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Pie, yeah, absolutely. It's like a whole new level. And whoopie pies would be another thing that I had to throw in there as things that one of the things I miss. We'll we'll make arrangements to ship you out some of the finest whoopie pies you've if ever. If I don't had. nibble on them first. <laughs> You can nibble. You can nibble. Hey, one last thing, Jonathan. We're going to let you get back to it. Um, You know, there's a lot of kids, especially in theater now and growing up, who really look up to you on the show and just think, you know, that you've really made it and kind of inspired them. Like, what do you tell – if you could just say anything to them right now about, you know, what's going to come down the road or whatever, what kind of advice would you give them? I would say that anything can happen. I mean – Anything, anything that you sort of like dream or wish for or want to do is completely 100% possible. It just takes a lot of hard work and it takes a lot of commitment and just doing it is the best way to learn. I never made it to, to college to sort of study theater and I never really took a lot of classes, but I did a, everything I learned was sort of from doing. I did a bunch of shows at the Effort of Playhouse 
in the park, and I did a bunch of shows at the Fulton Opera House and and in my high school theater and my middle school theater, and that was sort of like the the training that I that I used to sort of get where I am. It was really about like throwing myself into it. I read every book of theater in the library in high school, completely immersing yourself in it. I think is is sort of the best way to get better and and to get ahead. Cool, man. Well, best of luck. We really appreciate you taking the time out. Awesome. Thank you so much. Great to talk to you.